Last week, soybean futures hit a nine-year low. Soybean, born, soybean futures hit a nine-year low. Pork producers, corn growers, and wheat growers are reeling, too. That's so far this week. The Supreme Court's radical uh, Janus decision will have drastic, disrupt, destructive, and long-standing impacts. They have reduced the leverage of workers in our country. Lose their leverage for, again, collective bargaining, raise the standard. So, here we are. We have a better, this is a raw deal, we have a better deal. I've also disagreed with Justice Kennedy's uh, interpretation of the Constitution. Make no mistake, mistake. The 120, 130, 125, 130 million Americans have pre existing conditions. So, our Provenal, our history on this is one that has been solid. I appreciate that question. You might recruit your question because it was in the same line, I think, how invest in education and health care and research uh, to keep America, uh, our uh, apprenticeship programs and the rest. Let's uh, just watch that again. Last week, Silicon Futures hit a nine year low. So we've been born. Soybean futures hit a nine-year low. Pork producers, corn growers, and wheat growers are reeling, too. That's so far this week. The Supreme Court's radical uh, Janus decision will have drastic, disrupt, destructive, and long-standing impacts. They have reduced the leverage of workers in our country. Lose their leverage for, again, collective bargaining, raise the standard. So here we are. We have a better deal. This is a raw deal. We have a better deal. I've also disagreed with Justice Kennedy's uh, interpretation of the Constitution. Make no mistake, mistake. The 120, 130, 125, 130 million Americans have pre existing conditions. So our provenance, our history on this is one that has been solid. I appreciate that question. You might recruit your question because it was in the same line, I think, how invest in education and health care and research uh, to keep America, our, our uh, apprenticeship programs and the rest. Now, I don't know what the hell is going on. Remember once upon a time, Obama came on and he was very polished, very slick, you know, John McCain got up next to him and he looked like a old man mumbling away with a speech coming out of someone's basement, you know. The Democrats used to be very highly polished sort of people, but, you know, you look at old Hillary, seen just before she got to Australia with a back brace. In. And then while in Australia, you know, wearing this colossal sized scarf to hide this back brace. You look at the old girl here, Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> oh man, the nickname for her is Skeletor. Because she's more or less skin and bones. That ain't just one bad situation. She's been fumbling her words a bit. But. It's got to this point here, you know, and here she is when she, oh, American workers don't have, you know, much, much options. Well, in the Midwest, they literally have one job that they can't fill for every two existing jobs. They literally need an extra half the population again, all of whom can have, you know, can work, they don't have kids to look after or whatever, to uh, fill all the jobs in the Midwest, you know, but, but the, the American workers don't have don't have options. And we're, we're going to uh, plan for apprenticeship here, Trump was, like two days ago, opening some, you know, so, well, on some speech where they're talking of opening vocational schools and that that's getting underway. Oh, well, health care, this it recently passed the Association Healthcare Bill, which should blow the shit out of a major problem. Won't completely cover it, I can guarantee it won't completely cover it, but it'll knock the hell out of 
one of the biggest problems in America, which is the cost of health care, because you can join an association like a business association. And that large association can go to health insurance companies and say we have 10, 15,000 people, we want an individual deal for our members, and trust me, they'll make a deal that's far better than if you all go as individuals and get a rip-off price, because that's the biggest trouble with the American healthcare system. And that's the quickest and most straightforward fix. It's not 100% perfect, but it's going to be literally half the cost that it probably has been with something like that, um, you know, than it was if you go there as an individual three-man business or something like that, you know. And, <laughs> and it also gives you the ability to buy across state lines. And if you don't know, there's some states that are like California that are like a third the cost of other states like New York. So, you know, your association can cross state lines and deal not as a three-man business, a five-man business, but like a group of 15,000 people. And trust me, the costs will go down. And, uh, oh, yeah, well, we're, we're still working on health... What are you doing? What are you doing? All this shit come from Trump's guys, you know? And they actually bloody done something about it, and she's, well, uh, well, uh, it's a raw deal, this, uh, 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 the soybean futures, if you're going to talk about soybean futures, could you please at least say soybean futures, because that was like the speech you hear from someone who's had a stroke, but she hasn't had a stroke. A lot of people question how much cocaine she's done over the years, and by the look of her, I'd be questioning how much crystal meth she's doing. Fucking hell, you know, there comes a time where some people have got to retire uh, or the party suffers. And that happened here in Australia with John Howard, you know, it, it just, the, the guy had been in power for 12 years, 12 years straight, you know, and it was like, and he didn't want to step down from the leadership, although it was expected beforehand that the treasurer was, was going to take over as a new leader, and he overstayed his term. And then they lost the next election, you know, and he, he should have retired before and, and just, you know, paved the way and put in the, the treasurer or whoever else who would have had a chance of winning the next election. They bloody lost it because this old guy would not retire and just didn't know when to fucking go. And so it sort of, you know, it got to the point of damaging the party. And as much as I don't give a rat's ass about the Democrats, and I really, truly don't, um... You know, this old bag, the other old uh, firma, uh, former Secretary of State, you know who I'm talking about, Hillary, um, and, uh, and now apparently they've appointed Maxine Waters in. Fucking hell. You know, she wanted tickets to go and see something. 10,000 US dollars, about 13,000 Australian dollars, for tickets to go and see a particular thing. Uh, she, uh, well, we can put this down as the uh, research, is it? She put it down. She claimed that against the taxpayer as though it was for political research purposes or some legitimate purpose. And it was tickets to see some fucking theatre thing. Equivalent to 13,000 Australian dollars. Holy smoke. I tell you what, there's a time where... If you want a political party to survive, you you got a clean house. And uh, I really don't care if the Democrats don't survive as a political party, but how can they not be seeing this? And, and I believe even three years ago, some Democrats saw this, and that's why a lot of them ended up voting for Trump anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> All they're doing is just damaging themselves further at this point, and... And this is what you get with a bunch of old idiots who will not retire.